Hi, it's Stephen from Mona Disso. Well, Acer made a couple of announcements today, and you may well have seen it. If not, it's available also on their website and their YouTube channel. But I wanted to bring a couple of them to your uh, attention today. Now, or mostly it revolves around Spatial Labs, which if you hadn't heard of before, is their a technology to allow a display, a computer display or an external display uh, to uh, show a 3D effect. So it's pretty much created to you know, for creators at the time, you know, if you're doing some animation work or photo work and you wanted to make it pop, um, you can have a 3D effect. And also you, on the displays, you had like a, a, a camera which would track your eyes. So if you move your head from side to side, you know, you get, you know, you see the 3D dimension moving from side to side. Now, that was that's better, of course, than using like these 3D glasses, which, you know, I was using these a lot. These are the NVIDIA 3D glasses. Now, the, the problem with these... Um, of course, you don't get that movement from side to side, but also it made the game darker because of the darker glasses. Um, so, but now they're actually incorporating this software into into the gaming laptop scene. So, they're looking at the new 2022 Helios 300, which starts at three thousand four hundred dollars uh, in the US and three thousand three hundred euros in in Europe. It's arriving around about uh, quarter four. September time in Europe so uh, but yeah it's a little bit expensive now it is quite powerful you need uh, an i9 12900H uh, it's got that in it it's got a 3080 it's got uh, 32 gigabytes of dual channel DDR5 4800 megahertz RAM and up to 2 terabytes of uh, storage uh, PCI Express Gen 4 in RAID 0 now it does have a 4K display 60 hertz i believe and uh, when it that's in 2d mode and when it goes into 3d mode it's 1920 by 2160 60 hertz per eye now they did say it played perfectly fine and i know when we're doing uh, vr you want 90 hertz per eye to have flicker free um, but they say 60 hertz is fine but it is a little bit expensive now if you find it is too expensive for you so you can actually then use a separate monitor which they sell they're promoting it now it's a spatial labs view monitor it's a 15.6 inch 4k monitor but that's 1100 dollars itself now they, there are 50 games supported at the moment um you need special drivers uh to to make these work now they're focusing uh, primarily it seems to be racing games rpg and first person shooter games now, you also need some software to make this one. It's called Spatial Labs True Game. As they say it's pretty straightforward. Install the software. It then shows you the, the list of games that are compatible. You click on it, and it incorporates the necessary drivers to make it go into 3D. Also, you've got uh, Spatial Labs to go, where you can... Uh, sounds quite interesting. You can convert any of your videos or your YouTube videos or photos from 2D into 3D. Maybe a bit of a gimmick, but still, that'd be pretty nice to see. So they also announced the Triton 300 SE Thin. Now there's two models, there's a 14 inch and the 16 inch. So within the 14 inch, you have three different panel options. Um, you have one that's a OLED, uh, 2880 by 1800, 400 nits, DCI P300%. Um, you also have a, uh, an IPS display, which is Q, uh, 2560 by 1600, uh, 500 nits, 165 hertz, and that's DCI P100% as well. And you have a uh, um, 1920 by 1200 400 nits option, again 165 hertz with uh, sRGB of 100%. Uh, now powering this, uh, you have uh, you can have, have an i5 12500H, i7 12700H, or i9 12900H, up to 32 gigabytes of low power DDR5 5200 megahertz RAM. And for graphics, you can uh, get a 3050 Ti or a 3060. Um, with up to one terabyte of, of storage. Now, the 16-inch, um, there's uh, two display options. Uh, one is an IPS, um, 2560 by 1600. So again, you have a 16, uh, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Now, this is 500 nits, and it supports up to 240 hertz. So that's very nice. Again, DCI P3 100%. And uh, you can also have a 1920 by uh, 1200 uh, 400 nits, 665 hertz, um, 100% of sRGB. And it looks like all of them have three-zone RGB backlit keyboards. Now, this CPU options on the 16-inch is the i7-12700H, 
Audi i5 12500H. Again, up to 32 gigabytes of memory. This is this time it's DDR5 4800 MHz. And here you can actually go up to a 3070 Ti uh, or a 3060 or a 3050 Ti with up to two terabytes of storage. Now you do have liquid metal on the uh, CPU here on the uh, Triton 300 SE as well as the Helios 300 you have liquid metal on that as well so on, on the CPU so that is good to see. Now the Triton 300 uh, SE pricing wise you're yeah, looking at uh, $1,600 starting in July in the USA. This is for the 14 inch and 1500 euros in Europe in June. The 16 inch um $1,750 starting in August in the USA and uh, €1,600 Euros in July in Europe. And Best Buy will be having a 14-inch model, which is just exclusive to them. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts of, you know, certainly this Helios 300 with the 3D. Is that something you'd be interested in? I've certainly asked if I can have one. I'm certainly like it. I've always liked 3D, but, you know, it was... It didn't last long, did it? We had it in TVs, and that didn't last long either. So, you know, it might not be for the competitive gamer, but it might be worth having. Thanks for watching. Bye now.